you're looking for the perfect school to pursue a degree in computer science. But there's way too many options to choose from. There are four criterias when coming to choosing the right university. Brand and prestige, cost of living and tuition, job prospects, acceptance criteria. Let's look at the top five universities in the States for computer science. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Number one, MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. That's hard to roll off the top. Located in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Breathtaking architecture and a vibrant concrete jungle. You're gonna have an absolutely amazing time outside of school. This is fun for me! You have the top restaurants, bars and clubs, endless amounts of activities to do outside of school. You're gonna have a great time. This is so exciting, isn't it? This state hosts some of the biggest tech companies. For example, in finance, we have Fidelity. In energy, we have General Electric. For science tooling, we have Thermo Fisher. With a cost of living that is 50% higher than the national average, you're looking at about $24,000 to $30,000 a year in living expenses. Tuition will also set you back about $5,000 a year after financial aid. I just want to clarify the tuition amounts that I'm going to be discussing is after financial aid. For example, MIT charges close to $80,000 a year before financial aid. But if you receive grants and scholarships, that number is significantly lower. So you're looking at about $35,000 a year in cost of living and tuition, which is quite a hefty amount. With a staggeringly low acceptance rate of 4% and an amazing graduation rate of 95%, securing a placement in MIT practically guarantees you a long and lasting career which is important because you'll need to be making a good amount of money to pay off those student loans. Overall, MIT is a great university with a strong and competitive brand. If you can swallow the cost, you'll have an excellent time here. Number two, Stanford University. Location, Stanford, California. It's no secret that California is the world's biggest tech hub. Hosting Silicon Valley, San Francisco, and tons of other big tech companies scattered through the state. You have giants like Apple, Disney, Google, Oracle, just to name a few. California is also known worldwide as an excellent tourist destination. Filled with fancy restaurants, stores, and activities, that means you'll never run out of things to do. Aside from large tech companies, California also boasts the strongest venture capital presence. If you're a founder or an entrepreneur, this is the place to be. There are tons of investors, there's tons of capital, there's tons of things going on, and everyone is trying to work together to bigger and better future for the world. I will add though that certain areas in California, especially Silicon Valley, has a homeless problem. So you will be dealing with increased violence and gang activities and criminal activities. Just keep that in mind. The cost of living in California is one of the highest. You're looking to spend around 30 to $40,000 a year in living expenses to be comfortable there. Tuition will also set you back $10,000 a year after financial aid. So to be frank, you should set aside at least $50,000 a year to be comfortable. Similar to MIT, you're looking at about a 4% acceptance rate and a 94% graduation rate. The Stanford brand is known globally worldwide, so you will have absolutely no problem with your career. You will also have a strong foundation because you're located in California. If you prefer entrepreneurship, the network that Stanford will provide you will be much more valuable to you than any other university. Being slightly more expensive though, you will have to figure out the financial situation, which may be a deal breaker for you. Number three, Carnegie Mellon University. Location, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Beautiful and vibrant city filled with nature and architecture. Well-developed, has your typical nightlife, restaurants and activities and tons of things to do. So you, obviously the first two cities are much better for that. This is your average city. You'll have tons of fun as well. Is this fun for you? This is also a much more affordable city. So living costs will only set you back 15 to $20,000 a year, quite affordable. With that being said, tuition cost is significantly higher after financial aid here. You're looking at about $40,000 a year. And the reason for that is this university does not provide the same level of scholarships and bursaries and grants that the other two do. So that will set you back quite a bit. So if you're looking to live comfortably here, you're looking at about 50 to $60,000 a year in costs. Luckily though, unlike the other universities, it's much easier to get into. You're looking at an admission rate of 14% and an 80% graduation rate. If you do manage to get into the other school with an acceptance rate of 4%, by all means go there. You'll have a much better time and the cost is also lower. 
But with that being said, this is a great alternative to the other schools as those ones are extremely competitive and you're still getting a quality education, tons of recognition and brand, and you're living in a great city. So overall, it's still an absolutely great option. Don't look down on this university, Carnegie Mellon University. Number four, UC Berkeley, better known as University of California, located in Berkeley, California. We already spoke about California as a state, Berkeley is also an excellent city to be in. So outside of school, you're looking at a great work-life balance. There's tons of things to do, tons of people to meet, and a lot of presence in VC, a lot of presence in big tech companies. It's a great location. The only thing is UC Berkeley, similar to the last university, tuition costs are higher after eight because they don't have as much scholarship and bursary support as the other two. So you're looking at about $40,000 a year in tuition costs. Combined, you're looking at about $80,000 a year in total cost with tuition and cost of living. So that is the most expensive university in this list. Similar to Carnegie Mellon, UC Berkeley has a much more relaxed acceptance rate, unlike Stanford and MIT, with an acceptance rate of 14% and a graduation rate of 93%. This is easily one of the best return on investments for universities. And it is one of the best options for computer science students. You're getting the same level of job prospect, strong network and location, but with significantly less competition. But you're also paying for it. If you can swallow the cost, this is a great alternative to Stanford. Number five, last but not least, Harvard University. Located also in Cambridge, Massachusetts, similar to MIT, located practically in the same location. They're going to have a great time there. Tons of things to do, tons of activities, great people, great presence in tech. Overall, a great location. Tuition will set you back $15,000 a year, which is slightly more expensive, but again, very competitive to MIT. So you're looking at a total cost of about $45,000 a year. Again, very similar to MIT. The acceptance criteria is no different. You're looking at a 4% acceptance rate and a staggering 97% graduation rate. That means out of 100 people, 97 of them are guaranteed to graduate at Harvard. That's nuts. Harvard is practically the closest thing to a guarantee in your career that you will ever be successful. Harvard also in this list had the strongest brand. It is the most well-recognized university globally. Practically everyone knows about Harvard. You see it in the movies, you see it in YouTube videos, interviews, everywhere. Harvard is the closest alternative to MIT, quality education, strong brand and network, and relatively similar costs. So these are the top five universities in the States for computer science. Before I wrap this video up, I wanna share a little secret. University is only one factor on what dictates your career. I went to an unknown university. Literally no one knows what this university is. University of Guelph in Canada and I'm still earning over $200,000 a year as a software engineer in Canada. That is the top one, if not top 0.1% salary for software engineers in Canada. But you don't need to go through the top five universities to make it. If you're interested in more of my content, subscribe and watch this video next. Peace.